What's going on, world? It's your boy, Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule the World. And today I have another amazing interview with some amazing talents. And as you see on the screen, we're going to be talking all about The Bystanders, which is available right now on Apple Podcasts. And I have, you know, uh, you might have seen them on Brooklyn Nine-Nine or Orange is the New Black. I'm talking about Beth Dover and Joe Lutrilio. Thank you both so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for, having uh, thanks for having us here as a as a fellow nerd. I'll speak for myself, not to my cool wife. I love being on any podcast that has nerd uh, in the title. So right <laughs> I on. appreciate that. We celebrate our nerd over That's here. Right. right. <laughs> so I'm nerding out about this. Uh, the bystanders. Uh, I I when I travel a lot and when I'm in traffic, it's the best thing to have uh, is a nice audio podcast to just take your mind off of what you're dealing with, right? Um, yeah, tell absolutely. me about getting on board with this, the, the bystanders. Who who got involved first? Yeah, I know you're both husband and Beth wife. Is. Who got cast? What what I, brought I you to the Beth bystanders? Is. I think they want no, I think they probably they want as a as a as, yeah, they probably asked as a set. Them. They wanted the set. I might have gotten the email first. <laughs> they got a deal. Um, yeah. I think I think Beth was like, check your email. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, um, yeah. I think we we got we um, got wind of it around the same time, and and uh, it's it was something that I hadn't really done before. Um, maybe one other time, Beth and I also did a podcast called Story Bots. But I um, and so I, I was new. I was like, hey, yeah, let's let's. I'd love to try it out. Absolutely, it's one of the silver linings of the pandemic. I think they've really kind of explored these narrative podcasts and different ways to kind of do things from home. And um, so that's, that's the one silver. Line. And also like just the, the audio world that is created, the soundscape is so, is something so cool. And and again, I'm not familiar with it at all. And it's so rich. Like you're saying, you're kind of driving in your car and you kind of see it sometimes better than you would if they had to put it up there. Um, Cause you don't have to worry about any CGI. Right. So anyway, it was really cool to be in a format and a medium that was new. And the cast is incredible, yeah. you know, so. Completely agree in regards to the cast, such as yourselves, and just the complexity of creating a, a, an experience through audio. I, I'm an actor as well, and I've done some voiceover work here and there, and it, it is a challenge. And uh, and as you kind of brought up, Joe, you, you've only done maybe a couple in the past. Yeah. Um, I'm very expressive with my hands. So it's kind of- I'm Italian, you know, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I get it. You and I are like this, man. Yeah. I'm actually have them under the table. The table is holding them down. That's, you know, just. <laughs> Completely agree. So, so tell me about, you both get cast, diving into these characters and, and what did you, uh, what, what you, can you tell us each about your characters? I, I think I should go there first. And then, you know, uh, and then like really, you know, bringing the character to life, you know, our that. marriage our you know, the character's marriage, uh, the, the characters are married. Um, their marriage is on the rocks there. And that's always a great kind of uh, fodder for conflict and comedy, right? Like going back and forth. Um, I always, I always think it's fun watching people that aren't quite in control of their lives, try to behave like they are in control of their lives. And so I think that for me, kind of the nugget of, um, what we were what we were doing and it's always fun to get to work together too so in you know since we're actually married to get to play a married couple is very fun and so yeah yeah like we were able to vicariously through uh like through the fights in the script yeah it was very we were cathartic. able to kind of cathartic really kind of get out all that yeah yeah all the Rage. stuff that we had you know in real life it's like why don't you onto take the, the dishes out onto the, the dish tape <laughs> yeah. put the knives down not up <laughs> I love it. And since you were both working together and I'm assuming because uh, we this was done during the pandemic, which we I, I think in ways we still are. Um, mm -hmm. And I feel and we should be yeah. protective about that um, recording sessions. So were you able to like record and give notes to each other and tell me about the recording experience? So we were we recorded it from home. They dropped off recording equipment and um, we were we set it up with their help and and we're able to record it from home. So it was a pretty easy uh, commute to, to work. <laughs> for sure. From the main house to our kind of uh, garage office. Yep. <laughs> but we recorded together most of the scenes um, and then recorded separately as well to kind of cover for any audio backups and Overlap. um, overlaps and stuff. So we, yeah, the notes were, you know, they gave us notes as we did a take and they, like, hey, maybe hit this. This is a big story point right here. Make sure you don't lose that. Uh, make sure that comes out clear. Um, 
And, and then, you know, we tried it a couple of different ways. And then of course they were uh, nice enough to let us play around and just take some wax at it with ideas that we had. I love it. So maybe not so much a challenge. You got used to it and you had did it before. Did you fall in love with it now as like another way to express yourselves going forward with other work in the future? Absolutely. And now we got all this equipment in there. So we, we got to do something <laughs> with it. Yeah. I mean, that's a, I, yes. The short answer is yes. And that I have, you know, I've written short films and pilots and movies, but haven't really written a podcast, a narrative podcast. So uh, that, that might be something to start playing around with. Yeah, for sure. I dig it. All right. So let's talk a little bit about your characters. Again, you play husband and wife. You get to express it a little bit more from your reality. Yeah, um, we, Beth, there was, if I could like start with you. There's a crazy bird attack situation. And then like a year later, we get kidnapped and thrown into a warehouse and then hijinks ensue. So it's like a, what were we saying? In the, like a silly thriller? It's a silly thriller. It's a siller. It's a siller. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And let me remind everybody, it's available right now on Apple Podcasts, exclusively there. Go check it out, stream it, download it so you can listen to it while you're driving around or hitting the beach because it's the summertime now. That's so, right. <laughs> Top down. Have you had a chance to hear the whole product for yourselves? Did, did you do a, a sit, sitting, a listening, screening? I can't say screening because it's an audio podcast. Like, yeah. yeah. How did, uh, y'all hear it? did we do a hearing? We did a hearing. Yes. Um, <laughs> I listened to the first episode yesterday. Yeah. I have not yet. So I'm looking yeah. forward to doing that for sure. Um, and it was great. It was so fun to hear. And I can't wait to listen to the rest. Yeah, I love it. Have you had a chance to meet with uh, any of the other people involved? It's such a dynamic cast. Uh, well, including yourselves. oh my gosh, I was so excited to see Kathleen Turner on a Zoom. I mean, her voice is iconic. So I was beyond excited. Um, I've worked with Margaret and and we both worked with Jane Lynch before. Yeah. And so, you know, it, and the cast is incredible. It was fantastic. But we didn't we haven't met in person with anybody. So um yeah, maybe I we mean, could all have a party, you know. Well, exactly. Yeah, I had worked with Jane Lynch a couple of times and she's just a comic icon, a legend. Yeah. And so um, and as is Kathleen Turner, who I'd never met before. Um and uh yeah, I mean it's just a great, it's it's a great cast. There's a lot of real talent um uh here and so i'm excited for people to uh to enjoy it yeah i love it i dig it and everybody go check out the bystanders right now streaming on apple podcast six episodes easy to digest and a lot of fun um i want to ask you one more thing because there's another press thing that i got in the mail and it involves you two and i had been meaning to hit them up to outpost? talk to you about Is it it, outpost? it is outpost y'all yeah. y'all so can, Outpost, can talk a little Outpost, bit about that real quick? Yeah, Outpost is a horror movie that I wrote and directed and that Beth is in. This is uh, something I've been wanting to do since I was 13. I was a horror fan before I was a comedy fan. And so this is my, finally, this has been trying to get out of me since I was 13 years old. Uh, and Beth plays uh, a, an abuse survivor who decides to recover by taking a job as a fire lookout on a mountain. Alone. And, alone. The isolation and the PTSD starts to uh, overwhelm her. So it's a very fun horror movie that has a really crazy third act. And we hope people check that out too. Yes. And it's on, you know, you can get it on Apple, you get it on Amazon, mm -hmm. Google Play, Vudu. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere, digital. I'm gonna put the links in the description below so y'all can go check out The Bystanders oh. and you can go check out Outpost. Uh, yeah. I've been meaning to watch it. It's on my things to do. I meant to hit up the company to talk to you guys, but I'm happy I have the opportunity right now to talk to you yes. guys. Yes, yeah, yeah, thank true. you, Patrick, for even posting that. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, most definitely, y'all. Actually, I'm gonna throw the trailer. Once once I sign off, I'm gonna throw yes! y'all the trailer so y'all can check yes. it out. Um, uh, but Joe Lotrilio, I'm sorry if mm -hmm. I brutalized your last name. No, no, it's all good. And, and Beth you got it. You both are amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Um, I can't wait to see what you're both going to do. And if we're going to see more tandems or if y'all drive each other crazy, uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know who I'm going to have to choose. If, can I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. It was really fun talking to you, man. My pleasure. Everybody, check out Joe Lotrilio as well as Beth Dover in The Bystanders as well as Outpost out right now, streaming on Apple Podcasts. You can download it, check it out, stream it. It's your boy, Creepy. This is Nerds World of the World. Have a great weekend, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. There's a cut. Thank you, guys. I see his face everywhere. Mike almost took your eye, Kate. You need to go back to group, not into the woods. By yourself. I'm really ready. This is the best thing for me. See you in three months. 
Thank you, Earl. I know you pulled some strings. Yeah, well, uh, we need the help. Fire take the rest of the road? Took a lot more than that. After the big burn in 1910, Uncle Sam said the states had to bear the cost of firefighting. And all these towers went up as a result. We got no water, Wi-Fi, or plumbing. All right, that's your firefinder. Tells us where to go if you see smoke. You are officially an Idaho Lands Department volunteer. Routine is key. Your head needs that. Three months is a long time. Who else knows I'm up here? Uh, just the townies. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Look at this penthouse view. Just came for the peace and quiet. <laughs> Being all alone up here may be silent. It won't be quiet. Smoke spotted over. Negative, no smoke, no fire. It's right there. You're right on top of it. We still haven't found Mike. He'll come. 30 minutes late. You need to stay in that tower. Yeah, get back up in that tower. I can't fire you. I got no one else. They keep a rifle up there? She needs to come off that mountain. Watch Earl and anyone with him. Sick of being broken. It's time to plant my feet and land a punch. You can't contain that kind of fury once it starts. No, you can't. They're coming for your tower. Skate! Answer me! You don't leave the tower. Keep my mountain safe. My mountain now, too. All right. Thank you both for your time. Uh, sure. Really, really appreciate it. Um, so let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Yeah. Thanks All for right. I'm going to count this in to help me with my edit real quick. Got it. All right. Here we go. In a one, two, three.